So I was in San Francisco a few weeks ago for a work conference and decided to try out the Waymo self-driving cars for the first time. Um, it was very fun, very entertaining. After the first ride, I felt very safe in the car, even safe like walking around these in the city. It's It does well with smoothly stopping, smoothly accelerating, giving cars and people space. It does well. It can kind of sense everything around it. And you can fit four people in the car, three in the back. The middle seat's pretty crammed. Um, one in the front, you can't sit in the driver's seat. And it's a pretty fun ride. It's, I would say, price rise. It's very competitive to Lyft and Waymo. You can see this car kind of backed up into its lane. It kind of slowly gave it space. And you'll see these people on the left. Since there's nobody over here, it kind of swerves gently to the left to give them a little extra space which any driver would do and keeps going. So it handled that very well. You can kind of see here more what the car is seeing. So these are all people here in the road. And the, the show up was a little kind of circles that move and you'll see there wasn't a lot of people walking after this point. You can see one there. You can kind of see it's trying to pick up something and it kind of fills in more as it's more confident on what it's seeing. At any point you can click this pull over button and it will find a appropriate spot to pull over. This is if you feel you need a support. I didn't have to do that, so it's there if you need that. You can kind of control the music in the car or just turn it off. It kind of defaults to kind of calming sounds. And you'll kind of see here it's doing a initiating a lane change. And it did it very smoothly. Plenty of space in the car behind it back here. So that's kind of what it's like. It's, I'll show you some oddities that did happen. So I don't have video of those because it was kind of unexpected. So our first ride was from the California Academy of Sciences. We kind of hung out there before the conference and we requested a ride and it said to pick us up. When you pick up a ride, select a ride from Waymo, it gives you about three pickup points and you have to walk to those. And so this point was in this area here. And we had, when I first set up the app, there's like a Bluetooth option that you have to use to unlock the car. And later after this ride, I set up to automatically unlock the car as you get close to it. But for this one, it, wanted us to walk here to get in the car. And we walked over here that at this point, this was all clear. There was nothing here at all, just some cars, no booths or anything. So it kind of stopped here and we got to the car and then it wouldn't unlock. And then my coworker actually, it was stopped, but he stood in front of the car and the car said, you know, <laughs> please move in its gentle voice. And we let it go and then it pulled up a little bit here and you have like two minutes after it stops to get in the car and if you don't get in, it leaves. So it pulled up here and we try to get in again and it left again. This is kind of a weird area and then it eventually pulled up over here more on a normal street. So it pulled up about here. So then it stopped here and then we were able to get to it and get in the car. So that was kind of a weird thing. It's, it may say it's going to pick you up here. Let me show you another example here. So let's say it was more in this area. So if it, if the pickup area is like here and there's a row of cars, it's not just going to stop in the middle of the street. It's going to keep going until it finds a gap 
to kind of pull over and park. So sometimes you have to be willing to do a slight jog as it finds a spot to pull over. Uh, so there's that. And another thing that happened was we got picked up from this place and it got itself stuck for a few minutes. So what happened, it, we got picked up somewhere around here, one of these streets and it tried to go through the street and there was a car here. And it, sometimes people in the seas kind of go around this way to get around cars. So it was trying to do that. And there was a car parked here, very similar to this one. And it got about here, but it didn't realize this car is not going to move. It's parked. So it was stuck here. It tried to go around again, but it got its nose, its bumper too close to drive around it. So it was kind of pinned, it pinned itself here. So it had to wait for this light change, probably two cycles of lights. And then it was able to back up and then drive around. So it was not a huge deal. There was kind of people here kind of chuckling, laughing at us. And we're just kind of in the car throwing our arms up like, can't do anything. But it did figure itself out. One thing that did happen more in the central part of the city was a very similar situation. Let's find a different area. Yeah, so say this was more from this car to here, just kind of pretend this is all empty. It, kind of did that same thing where it tried to pull around, go around a car here that was stopped for some reason. And it got to about here, pretend this is the Waymo, and there was this delivery van that started backing up. There was nothing behind us for, at all, and it backed up very aggressively because it was thinking it was gonna back up into it, but it only did back up maybe like 10 feet, but it was a very accelerated backup. It's kind of surprising. And then it was trying to get back into this lane and none of the cars wanted to let it in. And we just kind of got out cause say it was like around here, it's like a block walk. So we just kind of got out. So it kind of does odd things sometimes, but you know, it's learning over time. It's, I took it as often as I could. And sometimes with a little bit of weight, especially when there's a conference in town, like all the ride shares, things are busy, but the wait time is very comparable to all those. And I would say if you're in a rush and you have to be somewhere like on time, give yourself plenty of time if you're going to take a Waymo. If you're not in a rush, just kind of enjoy the experience. It's definitely worth trying. Download the app and set up your payment and you're good. It's Definitely something you could try out. It's it's very safe. Never felt like I was in a dangerous situation, just some kind of awkward spots like I explained. But yeah, if you've tried a Waymo, let me know. If you have not, would you try one? Let me know in the comments. See ya.